Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. South Korea added 197 coronavirus infections yesterday, with 156 of them being reported from Seoul and the surrounding areas. A cluster infection at Sarang Jail Church in Seoul's Hongbuku district attributed to the steep increase in the number of patients in the metropolitan area, with at least 319 infections linked to the church confirmed as of noon yesterday. Meanwhile, the church's pastor, Chung Gwang Hoon, who organized anti government protests in central Seoul last Saturday, tested positive for the coronavirus along with his wife and secretary yesterday. A new strain of the coronavirus found in Malaysia could be 10 times more infectious than the original strain detected in China's Wuhan, according to Kuala Lumpur's health officials. The mutation, named D614G, was found in at least three of the 45 cases in a cluster tied to a restaurant owner who violated quarantine measures after returning from India, as well as others who came into Malaysia from the Philippines. Malaysia's Health Director General Noor Hisham Abdullah said that this could imply the ongoing research on vaccines could be incomplete or ineffective against the mutation. The Environment Ministry will launch an investigative committee that will look into the management of dams in regions that were recently hit by torrential rains and floods. The committee, formed of experts on dam operations, will hold its first meeting today and secure data and opinions on the management of Samjingang, Yongdam and other dams that were recently seeing damage. The ministry said the committee aims to determine the cause of recent damage and that those found to have contributed to flooding by releasing dams will face criminal penalty. Finally, the presidential office and the United Future Party are clashing on whether Chawade officially requested the main opposition to hold three-way talks with President Moon Jae-in and the ruling Democratic Party. Senior Secretary for Political Affairs Choi Jae-sung said yesterday that he extended President Moon's invitation for talks to leaders of the main rival parties during his courtesy visit to UFP's interim chief Kim Jong-in but that the party turned it down. The main opposition refuted the claim, saying there was no official request from the presidential office. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you will also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, the controversy surrounding the president of the heritage of Korea independence, Kim Won-ung's recent remarks at the Korean 75th liberation anniversary from Japanese colonial rule this past Saturday.